four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. To make this top, we'll need any category for yarn. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream, which is a cotton yarn, which is what I prefer. We need a 3.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a ring, I'm using this wooden ring right here, and then a tape measure. All right guys, to start off today, we'll need to know two measurements. The first one is going to be from the top of your breast to the bottom, just like so. And the second one is from one, one armpit to the other. So the first measurement we took is what we'll use to make our foundation chain. Okay, we are first going to make a slip knot. <laughs> okay, sorry, the nails are new, I'm not used to them. All right, there we go. So now we'll insert our hook, pull tight, and I am going to chain up 25, which will be equal to five and a half inches, and that is what my first starting measurement was. Okay, so now I have a chain that's just about 5.5 inches long. There we go. So for our first row, we're going to be making half double crochets. And to start off, we're going to want to chain up two from this foundation chain. So let's hold on to that last chain we have right here and then chain up two. So to do a half double crochet, we are going to go into the one, two, third chain from our hook, which is also the one that we are grabbing onto right now. So I'm going to yarn over insert my hook just into that top loop right there then we're going to yarn over pull through that loop and now we have one two three loops on our hook so we're going to yarn over and pull through all three okay so that's going to be our first half double crochet and we are going to do this in every chain down this row so yarn over insert into the next loop yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. So again, we are just going to be doing this all the way down to the end of this chain. And make sure you are counting so that you have the exact same amount of stitches that you started with your chain. So for me, I chained 25, so I should have 25 to end with. So I will finish this row and I will then show you how to end it. All right, so we're at the very end of this first row here. Okay, and this is going to be half double crochet number 24. And then make sure to go into that very last stitch here and that's 25. All right, and this is what it should be looking like right now. And for row two, we are going to start decreasing and bringing it in. Okay, so to do that, we are going to chain up two. And all of our chain twos are not going to count as a stitch, by the way, okay? So we'll flip our work. And then we are going to do one half double crochet decrease in the beginning and one on the end. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Again, this doesn't count as a stitch, so we're going to be working into that very first stitch right here. Okay, so we're going to yarn over, insert into this first stitch, yarn over and pull through. And now we have three loops on our hook. So we're gonna yarn over one more time and then go through the following stitch right here. Okay, then we'll yarn over and pull through. And now we'll have five loops on our hook. 
that's when we are going to end up yarning over and pulling through all five. All right, and that is going to be our half double crochet decrease. Okay, so now we are going to just do normal half double crochets in that next stitch right here, which means we yarn over, go into the following stitch, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through all three. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way down until we reach the last two stitches because that's when we are going to do our other decreasing stitch. So I'm going to continue this all the way down and I will come back and show you how to finish up that last decreasing double, uh, half double crochet, sorry. Okay, so I have just finished my 21st stitch. So we are going to do another regular half double crochet into the next one. And that will be stitch number 22. Okay, and now we are left with our last two stitches right here. So we're gonna do our half double crochet decrease in these two. And to do that, we are going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and insert into the following stitch. Yarn over and pull through. And with five loops on our hook, we are going to yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so that's the second decrease of our second row. So now for the third row, we are just going to do a normal half double crochet row all the way down. And the fourth row will be another decreasing row. Okay, so we're going to just chain up to right here. One and two. And again, this doesn't count as a stitch. So we'll flip this around. And what you want to do is yarn over and insert your hook into that very first stitch. Then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three. So again, just a normal half double crochet row all the way down. And then once you're done with that, we're going to do a decreasing row for row four. So let me show you what this is going to look like kind of. All right, so this is a prototype and it's not exactly what we're making, but the cup is pretty close, okay? So this is going to be this side of your cup right here, all right? So what you're gonna do is alternate between row one and row two until you fully cover your nipple. So what you're doing is just the normal half double crochet down here, okay? Chain two, then decreasing half double crochet half double crochet all the way down so the last two stitches and then a decreasing half double crochet again. So again, we're just repeating rows one and two all the way down until the nipple is fully covered. Okay, so I've just finished my repeating rows right here and I ended up with nine rows. You just wanna make sure that you end with a normal half double crochet row. Now I'm pausing really quick because the measurement that we are about to do depends on the second measurement we took. Remember that second measurement we took across the armpits, okay? So we want to take that measurement and you want to subtract it from the ring you are using, the width of the ring. So my ring is gonna be two inches wide and my second measurement was 12 inches. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 12 inches and I am subtracting two to get 10 inches. Therefore, I want my bra cups to be about five inches wide in order to make sure these straps that we're gonna put on later to make sure that they are in the correct place. And for a more in-depth explanation on this, please visit my blog post for this top listed in the description below. All right, let's get back into the video. Okay, so as you can see, this is about three inches and I want mine to fin finish off at about the five inch mark. So now what we are going to do is we are going to start tapering it in more. And to do that, we're just going to be doing our half double crochet decrease rows only. So of course, to do that, we are going to chain up two, okay, one and two, flip, and we are going to do our decrease. So yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over, go into the next stitch, 
and then yarn over pull through and with five on the hook yarn over pull through all of them okay and then in the next stitch just normal half double crochet like we have done before until we reach those last two stitches so again i'm just going to keep doing only half double crochet decrease rows all the way down until i reach my measurement of five inches then once we get to that point i will show you how to attach this wooden ring right here okay okay so we finished the whole bra cup and this ended up being let's see this ended up being just about five inches okay so this is exactly where we want it so now we are going to start attaching our ring so to do this what we want to do is you can see we've already chained up one so chain one flip your work and then insert your hook into that very first stitch okay then we want to take the ring and insert the hook through the middle just like so all right then you want to take the yarn and hold it over the ring now we are going to grab our yarn and pull it through the middle of the ring and also through that loop right there okay now we have two loops on our hook so we're going to yarn over and pull through both two to make a single crochet all right and we're going to do this all the way down so i will show you just one more time okay insert grab the yarn and pull through and then make your single crochet and I will come back once I'm done and show you how to make our border. And now what we're going to be doing is just making single crochets all the way around to give this a nice border. So we're going to go into these half double crochet spaces with single crochets. So the next one right here, we're just going to insert a hook and make a single crochet. And we're really just going to try to do it wherever we can, but just make sure to have one single crochet in each half double crochet space, okay? And with those decreasing rows, I just try to push in between the two to make my stitch. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way down, and once I get to the corner, I will show you how to uh, make the corner. So I'm gonna finish that and I will come back once I'm done. Okay, so we're at the very last half double crochet in the corner. And what I'm gonna do is make three single crochets in this half double crochet space right here. And that is going to create our corner. Okay, so one, two, excuse my dog, <laughs> and three. All right, so now we are going to start um, putting our single crochets into the loops of our foundation chain. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one right here. As you can see, just insert your hook and make your single crochet. And it's going to be easier on this end because there's going to be a loop for every single stitch. So just continue with one single crochet um, in each of these spaces all the way till the corner. Once you reach the corner like we did before, place three single crochets in there and then you want to do just one single crochet in each half double crochet space on the other side. So once we are done with that, I'll come back and show you how to finish it up. Okay, so we are at the end of the border. So I'm just going to make one more single crochet in this last little loop right here. And then I'm going to slip stitch right here, kind of under the wooden ring. It's hard to explain, but as long as you can see it, hopefully that will be all right. So we yarn over, pull through, and then we also pull through the loop on our hook, okay? And that's how we do a slip stitch. So we are done with that side, so we'll chain one. All right, grab your scissors wherever they are, and give that a little cut. Okay, and then we just simply pull through and tighten. 
All right, so that's our little, uh, our first little bra cup right here. So now all I'm gonna do is make another one of these with the exact same steps as the this side right here. And once I'm done with that, I will come back and show you guys how to continue on from there. Okay, so we just finished both bra cups. So now we are moving on to the bottom portion. And this will be our bottom right here. So let's flip it over like so. And that way we're working from right to left. All right. And as you can see, I've already tied a knot on the corner just to attach the yarn. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do to get that little gap in the middle is count out how many stitches we have on this edge, including the knot right here. So when I did that, I counted uh, 24, okay? And now don't be scared, but we are going to be doing just a little bit of math, <laughs> okay? So I had 24 total single crochets, and we want to divide that by three. So 24 divided by three is eight. And we are going to be crocheting on the first two thirds of our bra cup, all right? So to get the two thirds, I multiplied eight times two, and that will be the amount of stitches I'll be making. So right here is gonna be where we're working our 16 stitches. Now what we're gonna do is a gradual increase so that the edging will be straight across. So what I did was I took the 16 stitches and divided them by three, which is around five stitches in total. So when we start, we're going to be doing five single crochets. Okay, five single crochets then five half double crochets, and then we are going to do six double crochets to get that increase. So I will show you how to do that right now. All right, so we are going to insert our hook into the stitch with the knot, all right, and then just pull our yarn through and chain up one. And we're gonna make a single crochet into that same stitch because our chain one does not count as a stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through those two. All right, so we're going to do five of those. So let's go into that next stitch right there. Okay, and that will be two. And this is our last one, five. Okay, so we just finished our five single crochets, so we're gonna move right on to the half double crochets. All right, so we will yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch right here. Okay, and then make our half double crochet. So that will be one. Two. And five. Okay, so we did five single crochets, five half double crochets, and now we're gonna do six double crochets. Okay, let me just get some more yarn right here, my God. <laughs> so to do a double crochet, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook, okay? And then you want to yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So that's going to be one. Two. All right, and the last one will be six right here. Okay, so now we're done with the first part of that bottom portion. Now we're going to start making that gap and we will do this by chaining. So you'll want to know the width of your ring, and mine is two inches, as we can see right here, but I'm going to take off half of an inch, so we'll be using the measurement 1.5 inches. So now we will chain up eight to account for the last one third of our bra cup. Okay, so let's chain up that eight right there. Okay, so there's the eight right there. And then I'm going to chain up six to account for the 1.5 inch space that my ring is taking up. 
we're definitely going to fast forward this. Okay, so after that, I'm going to chain up another eight to account for the first one third of the second bra cup. And if you want to be super exact, count out the stitches on the other side of your bra cup, the second one, because it could be slightly off from the first one. But I'm just going to use the same numbers that I used for the last bra cup. Okay, so you see we are all good with our little gap right there. So now we are going to start with our double crochets, starting at the ninth stitch on this side. So we'll count up nine. Alright, well once you've done that 20 times, you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that ninth stitch. So we skipped eight and we're going into the ninth one. Then yarn over, pull through. And then we're making a double crochet, so yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that's gonna be our first double crochet. So like I said, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did on this cup, but just reversed on this one right here. So five more double crochets for a total of six, then five half double crochets and five single crochets. So I'm just gonna finish this up right now and I will come back once I'm done. All right, so for the bottom, we are going to start by chaining up two. And then we'll flip our work. And we are just going to place one half double crochet in our first stitch because the chain two, as always, does not count as a stitch. All right, so we're just going to be half double crocheting all the way down this row, including over the chain. So again, just half double crochets all the way down. And this is all we're going to be doing for the bottom portion. So just continue making normal half double crochet rows until you reach your desired length. So I've just finished the bottom panel. It doesn't matter how long or short you make it, just make sure to end on a half double crochet row because we are going to be making a single crochet border at the end. All right, so now we're gonna start working on our sides. And to start this off, we are going to be making single crochets all the way up the side till about right here, which is like the first five single crochets on the bra cup, okay? So what I'm gonna do to start is just chain up one. All right, there we go. Then you wanna make one single crochet in the very first half double crochet space right here. All right, and we're just gonna make one single crochet in all the half double crochet spaces all the way down. So yes, I end up skipping the single crochet spaces, but this method just makes the size a little bit straighter for me personally. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I finally come uh, up to the bra cup. All right, we've reached the beginning of the bra cup. So we are just going to single crochet into the first five stitches on the cup. All right, so that'll be a one, mm, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> All right, so now what we're doing is we are going to start half double crochet decreasing rows. So it's going to end up kind of going down so here, I'll show you really quick. All right, it's gonna start slanting down just like this. All right. So we're gonna start this by chaining up two. All right, one and two. Okay, flip our work. All right, and then we are going to wanna yarn over go into that very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then with five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. All right, and there is your decreasing half double crochet. 
So now what we're going to want to do is just do normal half double crochets all the way down the rest of this row. Okay. And once I reach the end, I will show you how to finish and we will go on to the second row. Okay, so we're at the very end of this first row and just make sure you get into this very last stitch right here, all right? So now we're going to chain up two and flip our work. And at this end, we are not going to be decreasing. We're going to be keeping this straight. So we are going to want to yarn over and make a half double crochet in that very first stitch. Okay, and you want to continue making half double crochets all the way until you reach the last two stitches of this row. And once I'm done, I will of course come back and show you how to finish that off. All right, so the last two stitches of this row, we are going to making our decreasing half double crochet again, okay? So we'll want to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and of course yarn over and make sure to get into that last stitch, it's a little bit hard to see. There we go, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all five. Alrighty, so we are done with that row and we are going to continue by chaining up two. And of course flipping our work and we're only going to be decreasing on this side by the way okay so of course another decreasing yarn over going to the first stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over going to the following stitch all right yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all five and we are going to continue with normal half double crochets all the way down after that all right it's just going to be a repeat of this very first uh, row that we did so here make sure your edge is straight at the bottom which means no decreases at the bottom but we're only going to be decreasing odd at the top of the rows so you are going to repeat this until you have 11 rows or however many rows you're comfortable with depending on the size so i will finish this up and we will come back after that okay so i've just completed the decreasing size right here so now what we're going to do is make a little gap to put our strap later all right, so I've actually already flipped my work, but we're going to chain up two right here, and then normally you would flip your work. And then you wanna place one half double crochet in this very first stitch. Then place another half double crochet into the following stitch. And now here comes the gap. So let's count out the stitches that we have left. And I have seven left, so we will subtract two because we are going to place two half double crochets at the end, and that leaves us with five chains to make. All right, so then I will place a half double crochet in the sixth stitch right there. And then one more in the very last stitch. All right, there we have it. That will be the end right here. So now we are moving on to the strap and we will get there by making single crochets. So we will chain up one. And you wanna place your first single crochet in the first half double crochet space right here. Okay, and we are going to place one single crochet into every half double crochet space all the way up to the corner edge. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing this. And for the decreasing ones, I just try to put my hook in the middle of those two and make my single crochet there. So we'll keep doing this until we reach that corner right here, and then I will come back and show you what we're going to do here because we're going to be placing another little gap for our strap. So once we reach this end with one half double crochet space left, we will chain up four, okay? All right, and we're gonna skip four stitches, so the half double crochet will be one stitch. 
then two, three, and four. And then we are going to single crochet into that fifth stitch right here. All right, and we're just gonna keep single crocheting all the way up until we get into that top corner. So I will meet you back once we get to the corner and then I will show you how to start doing our strap. Okay, so we have just finished up these single crochets. So now we will start on our strap, which will consist of half double crochets. And that means I'm going to start by chaining up two. Okay, one and two. And then I'm gonna make a half double crochet in that first single crochet space right here. Okay, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And that's going to be one. So then we're gonna go into that same stitch that we just placed our last single crochet stitch in. And that's going to be where we place our half, our second half double crochet. Okay, and then three, four, five, and then the last one, six, okay? And that is gonna be the start of our strap. So all we're doing for this whole strap is just making half double crochets, okay? So I'm just going to chain up two, all right, flip, and then go right into that first stitch with our half double crochet. Okay, so we're just gonna go half double crochets all the way across this little row right here. And make sure to get into that very last stitch right there so that you have a total of six uh, half double crochets. So we're just gonna continue doing this all the way down until you reach about like 170 rows, however many that you want to make, okay? So I will finish with that and we will be right back. Okay, so after you finish that strap, we're going to move on to the other side. And I just wanted to show you that I'm putting my hook right here in the corner there. And then we'll take our yarn, pull that through, and then just tie a knot. And we're just going to be repeating the exact same steps we just did for the other corner, or for the other side on this side. So I'm gonna finish up this side and you do the same, and then I will come back and show you how to add the sleeve detailing. All right, so we've just finished both sides right here. Don't pay attention to this right now over here, but you should have about, I mean, I'd say about 170 rows at least. Again, you can make them longer or shorter if you like, but I mean, that's just what I'm doing. So now what we are going to start doing is working on this detailing right here, okay? And mine is gonna go about halfway down, a little bit less than halfway, about 80 rows down my strap. So as you can see, we are going to start just above the strap gap right here. <laughs> So we'll insert our hook into the stitch right after the gap. And then we're just gonna wanna take our yarn and make a knot like we always do. Okay, there we have that. So what I'm gonna wanna do first is we're gonna insert our hook and then I'm gonna wanna chain up four right here. All right, so one, two, three and four okay and now we are going to want to skip three stitches okay so we'll skip three and then we will go into the fourth stitch right here and make a single crochet okay let me just really quickly pull out the little tail right there there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be our first little space that we make. And we're gonna continue making these up until the halfway point of our strap. Okay, so now we're gonna chain up three. And then we will again skip three stitches and then make a single crochet in that fourth stitch from our hook. And we're just gonna keep continue, keep continuing to do this all the way down. Hope 
hopefully you're getting a good picture of how we're doing this. All right, so now we're gonna chain up three, and this is where we're going to start hitting our, our half double crochet rows. Okay, so we skipped, you know, one, two, and then we're gonna go into that first half double crochet space right there. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our chain three. And now that we've come to the half double crochet rows, what we're gonna do is skip this one right here, okay? That'll be one, two, three, and then we're gonna go right into this half double crochet space right here. So the first one, we're essentially skipping two half double crochet spaces and going into the third one. But then we'll chain up three again. And now I'm just gonna skip this next half double crochet space right here, okay? And then we'll go into the next one. This one's a little bit harder to explain, but hopefully you can see what I am saying on this video. <laughs> So I'm just gonna continue to finish doing this, and once I'm done, I will come back and show you guys how to create the ruffles in these chain three spaces. Okay, so we've just finished with our little spaces. So now what we're gonna do is start our ruffles, okay? So what we're gonna do is just flip our work, no chaining involved for this, and then we are going to create a slip stitch in that first chain three space. Okay, and now we're going to chain up three. And we are gonna start by placing seven double crochets in each of our chain three spaces. But this chain three right here will count as our first stitch, okay? All right, so to make our second double crochet, we yarn over, insert into the chain space, okay? Insert, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two, and then yarn over and pull through the second two. All right, and we're just going to continue doing that another five times, okay? Okay, so that is our first completed ruffle. So now we're gonna go right into the second chain three space with, again, seven double crochets. And I'll definitely fast forward this part because it's boring. <laughs> so there's our second one, and we're just going to continue doing this all the way down in these chain three spaces. So once I get to the end, I will show you how to finish this off. So we've just finally finished coming back down, and the last thing that we're going to do is make a slip stitch into this very next stitch right here. Okay, all right, there we go. You can see it right there. So just insert your hook turn over and pull through both that loop and the loop that's on your hook. All right, then just chain one, grab your little scissors, cut, and pull through. All right, sorry for the jump cut, but the last thing we have to do is single crochet across the bottom to give it a nice little border. So what I'm gonna do is insert my hook at the very end right here, Okay, then just grab our yarn and make a knot like we've been doing. Maybe, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, is it? All right, there we go. All right, so let's just tie that up there. Then we're going to chain up one, okay? And then we're just gonna go into that next space right there with a single crochet. And we're just going to try to find spaces to make single crochets in. I will just be making one single crochet in each half double crochet space because that's that ends up looking best for me. But most people would say to do two single crochets in each half double crochet space, but I guess I'm just not most people. So we'll just continue doing this all the way down. And once you get to the bottom stitches, we're just gonna put a single crochet in each of those stitches. Um, they're not gonna be like these weird half double crochet spaces that we have. 
So we will just do that and then put one single crochet in each half double crochet on the other side like we're doing right here. And once you hit the corner chain one, all you're gonna do is cut and pull through, okay? So just an easy, simple single crochet border. So I will finish this and once we get to the end, I will show you our finished piece. Voila, we are finished with our cute little romantic crop top. You can see here, I just crisscrossed the straps all the way down the back to finish it off. I am so excited to be filming more clothing tutorials for you guys in 2020 because that is what I really love to make. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did while filming. And as always, please be sure to like and subscribe for more free crochet tutorials every single week. And if you'd like to see the written pattern for this, just head on down to the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.